Here we go, MMTs. We're going to have a bid of 429 by 443. Yes, that is the bid. Now it's 435 by 443. And ISRG is set to give its numbers. And yes, we do have a long position trade at 395. This is a very volatile stock with a short up there at 497. What I can say right now is that we haven't had much of a move on this three minute chart. So therefore, I'm going to bring up the newswire and see what I can find on this ISRG. Our bids is based on a knee jerk bad report to get hit at 395 and a great report on a big spike to 497 all done in the after hours earnings release and the power of it is this how to get a position based on that volatility not only that we have big Microsoft coming out as well so here we go once again I've got a 429. No, I got a 434. Yes, I do with a 443. That's a $10 bid and ask range going into this big bellwether into the surgical. Oh, here we go live right now. ISRG is 405 by 428. You can see that here on the three minute chart, and we had bids before the opening. Before the close, our bids are 395. Our bids are 395. Look at that bid NAST. It's 405 by what? 428. Look at that spread. And yes, we are 395. We are 395. Yes, we are. We're $10 below that bid. It's here. It's down 29 handles. Now look at that ask. It's 428. It's 410. This stock doesn't know which way it wants to go. And once again, we, oh no, my goodness, we're 447. We just popped it up there and we had a 410 print down at the bottom. But this thing is all over the map and we're racing hard up to 497. That's our upper end. Now, I do not have a number, but I can tell you here that this video is live. And that three-minute wick, some, oh, oh, there we are at 412. Yeah, 412 by 455. What a king daddy bid and ask range. Oh, my goodness. We printed there. We're 413 by 455. This is live. It's here. It's now. That bid is rising up for Whoa, up 13.5. That high is printing. We got a short out there at 497. So 415 by 455. Yeah, it's live. It's here. It's now. And not only that, it's very, very, very real. Because the general public will never know how to work a 418 by 455. It's all right here in after hours. And we're going to get these. Whoa. 422 by 455. 422 by 455. Somebody bought over there at that ask. We're going to keep that bid. We do not have a headline number. We're going to go search for it now. We're going to go search for that headline. Microsoft was 78, by the way, on the prelim. I do not have a number on ISRG. I repeat, I do not have a number. Ken Flag, 43, go over on Juniper. Buy Juniper. Here we are, 425. 453 it's exciting why because this is happening now this is live and after hours all my MMTs are trying to get down there below it look at that spread nobody could trade that spread look at that high that's why we got it out up there at 497 and yes there was a 410 print but the thing about it is it's 428 by 454 it's right here in that level two can flag get over there on juniper this one's working very nicely right now. I got a preliminary number on ISRG. They come in at four dollars and twenty-eight versus the three eighty-four consensus. Revs were five hundred six five hundred seventy-six million compared with an inline pre-announcement of five hundred sixty-seven versus five hundred fifty-nine million IQ consensus. So basically, we got a flattened out stock. This was that upside volatility. And remember, it's still at 429. Yes, it is. It's a 429 by 453. 449 came into play. 449 tightened it up.
They've tightened that bid and that ask, and here's that three-minute chart. This is an awesome trade because right now we are going to adjust our buys. I tell you, man, here it is, dropping at 535 by 541, up one dollar and twelve pennies from the close, with a huge monster spike in this chart. So what we did is that we have a limit order at 415. That means that this ISRG is going to have a conference call. And I just want people to see where the high was and where it's at now. And it's relatively flat on the day. However, this thing could change immediately and we could get hit at 415 out of nowhere. And I just want everyone to know, Tommy and Johnny, you guys, I don't want to see you chasing this move. Because you need to be taking a look at what that lower print. So go ahead and put your orders out there. And I'm going to pause the tape for a moment. Here we go, guys. It's 436 by 443. Here is that three-minute chart. There was that spike. We also, don't forget, it hit 405 in after hours. That meant that when that headline came out on Intuitive Surgical, they beat by 41 cents. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here we go. We No, we got this baby. Just dropped to 415. ISRG is here. Do not worry about the excitement level in my voice. Worry about that print that we're going to put out there right now. That means that ISRG is having a conference. So, stay tuned. All right, here we go with ISRG coming down toward our entry. Now, I'm going to blow up the after hours chart because there's always a lot of great excitement about stealing that wholesale bid, which 99.99% of your people can't. Let us not forget that we are looking at buying down here below the market, and we do have live limit orders. But here, let us not forget the following. Let us not forget that the high in after hours momentarily ago was $452 right there. Now, we're going to look at taking a small position that the high in this bar was 429 down here to 410 So, once again, is how do I trade that news and what that conference call and what they have to say as far as reimbursements go. Their headline numbers look real well, like I said, but obviously the headline looked good enough to drop it down another 40 or $35. Let it be knowing that the bid is 422 by 428. That's $6 wide or $7 wide between the buyer and who? The seller. So if the 422 disappears, then we'll have lower bid and offer. Right now, it's a $7 range, $5 range, $7 range, and it's right here on this three minute chart, right here. And there's a level right there, 423, 429. So it's all over the map because what's going to end up happening is that they're on the conference call. Look at where they dropped that high bar was 440. So they dropped it down a quick $30 right here. And now they're popping it right back up because a lot of people don't know what to do with this thing because of the volatility bid and ask. However, David is ready to take an entry at 412.50. One last thing. Just remember how far and how wide that is. So if they drop it down there and we get hit, we could live with that.